Sure, but it can't be anything good. Mumu, how did you make that sound? Huh? I didn't do anything. That noise just woke Rita and me up. But it's not our fault. Why do you always blame us for everything strange that happens in this house? It's not fair. Listen, what could it be? We need to go investigate where it's coming from. I'm not going because the last time we heard a noise, we thought it was a hidden monster and I was very scared. You go and when you get back, you can tell me all about it. Mumu, are you coming? Of course, my dear friend Milo. Today I'll be Mumu, Detective Milo's brave assistant. Let's go investigate. Be careful, it better not be a real monster that could eat you. Rito, we already told you millions and millions of times that monsters do not exist. What do you think we'll find in our investigation? Do you think it could be Olga singing? Or Alfred snoring again? I'm not sure what it is, but I hope it's something fascinating. Maybe you're right, Milo. At least I hope you are. Ah! <laughs> wow! Just look at that, Milo! I can't believe it! That is just so strange! It's... it's... Wow! It's incredible! Yeah! Is it a plane? No, it's something much bigger. It's... it's... It's a rocket! A rocket? And what's a rocket doing here? I have no idea. Look, I think there's someone inside the rocket ship and they're dressed really strange. It's a dog dressed like an astronaut. An astronaut? An astronaut navigates the heavens and is someone who travels to outer space. Wow, I want to be an astronaut. Me too, but you need to be real, and I mean real intelligent, and you have to study a lot. Mumu? Mumu, where are you? <gasps> Mumu, come back! Hello, astronaut. Hello, little cow, what's your name? My name is Mumu, and you? My name is Laika, and I'm an astronaut. Where are you going with such a big rocket ship? Well, I'm going to the moon because I have to do some scientific research. What are you doing? Um, I'm also conducting some very important scientific research. Oh! Hello! Hi, Milo. This is my friend Laika, the astronaut. She's going to take me to the moon. Really? I want to go, too. I never said I was taking you to the moon. Yeah, but we can go with you, can't we? Tell me we can, can we? Well, I don't know. I'd have to do a number of calculations right now to include two new passengers. I'd have to calculate the trajectory, the weight, the departure angle. Not only for two, there are six of us. Six? That's too many. I don't have enough food for that many. Don't you worry about that. If I bring the food, will you let us go with you? Well, all right, but there are some very important rules that must be followed. Rules? I love rules. I'm a big fan of rules. Yeah, of not following them. That is not true at all. I'm very responsible, and I always do what I'm told. We're going to the moon! Yippee! The first rule is... Well, while you explain the rules to Milo, I'm going to tell everyone to get ready for the trip. We'll be back in half an hour, all packed and ready to go. See you later. Rita! 
Mia, Olga, Alfred, Talalo, everyone come here, come now, come quick. I've got something super duper important to tell you. What is it, Moo Moo? What is it? What is it? Well, just the most important, fantastic, wonderful, incredible, stupendous, incredible. Did I say that? The most magnificent thing you could ever imagine in your whole life. What's that? I found a rocket ship with an astronaut that's going to take us all to outer space. To outer space? Yes, but there's not enough food for everyone, so we need to bring all the food that we can find. Because we'll be on the moon for a little while. Come on, move your butts, hurry it up! We are going to the moon! Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you were right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch, and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends? When they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet. I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. 
Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Ugh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful. Welcome to the world, Lucas. You don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> that was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs>